में आए भावना फैकल्टी स्कूल ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड कॉमर्स गलगोटियाज यूनिवर्सिटी इज गोइंग टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन अनबैलेंस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेटिंग अ प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द सेवरल फैक्ट्रीज टू द नंबर ऑफ वेयर हाउसेज इज जनरली कंसिडर्ड एज अ वेरी गुड एप्लीकेशन फॉर द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग टेक्निक when the number of units available at the supply origin is equals to the number of items available at the demand destination it is called as the unbalanced transportation problem but if it is not the two values are not equal then it is called as unbalanced transportation problem so let us learn more about unbalanced transportation problem in this video the basic transportation model has been developed in year 1941 by f i halrux and here it could be used for solving the optimality as to the answer to the complex business problems so transportation problem is concerned with the optimal way in which the products are produced at the different factories or the plants and they can be transported to the number of warehouses which are called as the demand destinations and the transportation problem is been used for solving the day to day requirements of the business so let us learn that how the unbalanced transportation problem can be solved transportation problem may have a feasible solution only when it is the balanced one an unbalanced problem need to be treated so a balanced transportation problem it is providing the assistance to the top management in assessing that how much units of the particular product need to be transported from the each supply origin means from where we are meeting the supply requirement to the each demand destination as we are having the different demand destinations like in the different markets so to meet out the prevailing demand for the company's product we need to have the transportation cost to be minimized that is the total supply which are been available at the manufacturing plant should exactly match the total demand at the destination means whatever we are supplying it should be fulfilling the demand in that particular destination there should be neither excess supply nor excess demand if the supply is excess or the demand is excess it is called as unbalanced problem but in the balance we are having the supply and demand both are equal so this is called as balanced transportation problem the supply from the different sources are been written in the form of rows whereas the column shows the expression of the demand of the different warehouses in general if the transportation problem has m rows and n columns then this problem can be solved if they are exactly m plus n minus 1 which are the basic values so like this we used to represent the supply that is rows with the alphabet m and we are going to represent the column which represents the demand with the alphabet n so this is how we are going to use this equation m plus n minus 1 and we will be using this equation for solving the transportation problem a transportation problem is said to be unbalanced if the supply and demand are not equal two situations are possible the supply is less than demand then a dummy supply variable 
need to be introduced in that equation so that demand and supply can be equal. The next step. When we are having the demand less than supply, a dummy demand variable is being introduced in the equation to make it equivalent to the supply cost. So, this is how we are going to construct the dummy column in the case of unbalanced transportation problem. When the supply exceeds the demand, the excess supply is assumed to go to the inventor. Then the column of slack variable is added to the transportation table because it represents the dummy destination with the requirement that it is equal to the amount of excess supply and the transportation cost is also equal to zero. When the demand exceeds the supply, then we are going to restore the balance by adding the dummy origin. The rows are representing are added with the assumed total availability, which is equal to the difference between the total demand and the total supply, with each cell having the zero unit cost. Suppose the plywood factory increases its rate of production from 100 to 250 desk. The firm is now available to supply a total of 850 desks each period and warehouse requirement remains the same, 700. So the row and column total does not balance. We need to add the dummy column that will represent the fake warehouse which is requiring 150 desks. This is somewhat. We want to add the slack variable and we will be using the different methods for calculating the transportation cost. So let us learn that how we can add the slack variable in this question. When demand is less than supply, then we are having the various warehouses A, B and C. From where we are going to meet out the requirement, the total of warehouse requirement and the total has been given to us. So let us first take whether the warehouse requirement is equal to the total available. No. Warehouse requirement is 700 and total available is 850. So as you can see that the warehouse requirement is less where the total available requirement is more. So it means that it is the unbalanced problem. When the demand is less than the supply, we can see that the warehouse requirement can be fulfilled by adding the column. And that column will be added for meeting the warehouse requirement and the total available requirement, which is by adding 150. So we will be adding the dummy column into that, that is D, which is 0, 0, 0 and we will be putting the remaining balance in order to make it balance. So the total available balance was 850. So we need to add that much requirement in the warehouse requirement where it should get equivalence to 850. The next is when demand is greater than the supply. The second type of unbalanced condition occurs when the total demand is greater than the total supply. In this, we need to add the dummy row which is representing the fake factory. So, the new factory will have the supply which is exactly equal to the difference between the total demand and the total real supply. Let us check the warehouse demand and the plant supply. As we can see that the plant supply has been given to us and warehouse demand is also given as 250, 100, 150. We can see that the warehouse demand is 500 and the plant supply is 450. The total does not have the balance. It is not equals. 
so it shows that the demand is more than the supply when the demand is not equivalent to the supply or the demand is greater than the supply then we need to add the dummy row so we will be adding the dummy row with 000 and the plant requirement which was less than the total balance that particular different we are going to put in the plant balance so we will be going to put here 50 because this is the plant requirement and the warehouse requirement was 500 and the plant requirement was 500 so as we can see that when we make the total by adding 50 it becomes equivalent to the warehouse demand so this is how we are going to balance the unbalanced transportation problem i hope that this video will be very useful for understanding the concept of unbalanced transportation problem thank you all for watching this video